Welcome back to the NAS Podcast, and today it's a special episode. One where I have three contestants that will be playing my very own game show, Jay Purdy. The first contestant is none other than Sheaf. How are you doing? Ah, it's, ah, uh, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got uh, kidnapped in a cardboard box and brought here to yeah. the cardboard realm. So, yeah. Hi. How's it going? If you closed your eyes and then woke up and you're on a game show, that was on purpose. Zach, okay. how are you doing? Our second contestant. <laughs> I'm doing okay. A little confused. I tried to light the set on fire, but uh, surprisingly, all of the cardboard is damp. So it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, I found it outside. And for the first time on the probably one of the weirdest podcasts, it's Wook! Hey, didn't get kidnapped, but uh, was offered candy to show up, so waiting mm. on that candy. Did I offer you that and forget, or? I don't know, some, some dude named Reggie? You know, with the shysty and the gloves? Oh, right, yeah, we don't talk about him. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyways, yeah, welcome to Jeopardy, where it's not like Jeopardy at all, and it's also just questions in a slideshow. Uh, there's only one real rule. Points are arbitrary. If I like your answer or if you answer it right, then I will give you some amounts of points. You can argue for more points. Um, I will accept bribes. That's about it. Anyone want to, you know, I'll, I'll accept bribes. Anybody want to? I'm like, I'm not sure how that would work exactly. I'll I can't. Uh, candy with you. I mean, OK, that's good. I'll give you one point. You got a point for that. How about how about this? How about this? All right. All right. I have a feeling I'm going to have to write these down because we'll forget. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I might have an unfair advantage here. Why? Uh, due to the fact that I can offer you very delicious points. Are you telling me you're bribing, like, PowerPoints in your campaign? Are you bribing me with... Yes. As a GM? Yes. Okay. Okay. How much are we talking? <laughs> I was going to say, I could technically bribe you inversely. How much you want? I don't know. This feels this feels unfair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, no. See, I can blackmail you. It's the same but different. Wait, no, no. That's not a part of this. <laughs> oh no. See, I can be all like, you can give me the point, or I can make things more complicated for you in the fake campaign. You know, you know even also, more than uh, you made for yourself. I think, I think I made a mistake. Uh. By labeling that's the only rule because technically black blackmail isn't nope it's not against the rules for this yeah, well, yeah, exactly yeah, yeah, i'm on death's door uh, in that campaign anyways <laughs> also you know you can also blackmail you because of the fact that you know sheath is uh i'm not sure if you know this but sheath is very close to our hr department hmm exactly i can get away with it i don't like either of your responses so no points uh, minus 10 Fair points enough. for trying to blackmail me. Not me? Ah, well, we'll see how the consequences for that ripple out. Chief, you you help. You're not Chief. Uh, Zach, you help, so I'm minus five points. Ouch. No no PowerPoints for you. I don't want them. Hi, Wick. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing all right, you know, just a little confused, trying to find some cliff notes as to what just happened, but... Um, them trying to blackmail me by giving me things or taking things away in their campaigns. You know, your normal day to day. Are you guys ready for some questions? Yeah. Because, of yeah. course, this is Jeopardy, where all the questions are about me because, well, I'm the most important, so. That was a moment for applause and none of it came. On to the first question! Sir, I don't have legs. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. 
That seems like it was more towards Wook's, like... We don't have a laugh track. <laughs> uh, uh, this is the one of the first categories called J-isms. I randomly, probably because of my ADHD or something else wrong with my brain, will just get some lyrics, something, another in... Uh, stuck in my brain and it will never go away and I'll repeat it out loud for a long time until Zach yells at me and I stop so all these are just trying to figure out what that means in a video specifically a TikTok what song plays after the line I can't talk right now I am making piss if you get it wrong Zach I feel like you're gonna be angry <laughs> Uh, I'm 100% going to be angry, but uh, now it's the choice of whether or not I use it. A joke to hide the fact I don't know the song, uh, which I totally know the song. <clears throat> See, you asked the question earlier, what, on like, what is allowed to be said in this podcast? And I forgot the first question was this. How's it going, Chief? How, how's it going coming up with your answer for this? I have no friggin' clue. <laughs> Like, I do not watch, like, TikToks at all, so I have no idea. <laughs> Just make it funny, then. Okay. Be uh, funny, sure. Sheaf. Be funny for me. <laughs> I think we're, I think we're gonna go with Sheaf first. Uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, Roundabout. You know, the To Be Continued thing that plays at the end of a JoJo's episode? Yeah, that, that song? The meme song? Yeah. We don't know... He's making piss, but we don't know the end result. <laughs> Stay <Yes>. tuned. <laughs> All right, Zach, what's yours? I'm going to uh, lock in my answer as uh, deja vu. Oh, so he's done this before. He's made piss before. Yes. Clearly, multiple times. See the authority? That's man that's done this before. Do you have deja vu every time you piss? Uh, No comment. <laughs> Look, what's your answer? <laughs> uh, I was going to go with the DuckTales theme song. Dude, I love the theme song. Surprisingly, that is one of my isms that I repeat all the time, but it's not in this in this quiz. Oh. Granted, that is a, like a more recent one, I think. Eh, fair. Um, well, you're uh you're all wrong. It's three days grace animal I've become. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> but you ain't say it. Oh, I shit. For deja vu. Uh, this may be interrupted as a storm is coming in. Yeah, it's no. a bad one, too. I really like Sheaf's answer. You know. Okay, five to Sheaf. Yay. Because we don't know what's happening in the next time. And it fits the TikToks where it's like part one of 12. And then they're like, go to my channel and watch all 12. And I'm like, I will not, sir. I'm going back to looking at cute sea otters. Yeah, that, that checks out. The TikTok thing. I mean, sea otters, that's your own thing. And I mean, like, they are adorable. <laughs> We're not going to watch these TikToks here. But if you actually or that specific video, but if you want to see it afterwards, I think it's funny. Anywho. Now it is time for J Lore. What Halloween costume when I was younger did I wear three years in a row? Same costume, by the way. They didn't get a new version of that costume. Same costume, wore it three years in a row. Also wore it throughout the year, too. You can inquire if you would yeah. like. No, no, I'm just going to take a shot in the dark. What would be the funniest answer to this? Like, what would be... Something that would be ridiculous that my parents would just let me wear all the time. I feel like you have told me this before, but I can't actually put my finger on it. It was Hatsumi Miku? Egg, yeah. All right, all right. I think Sheaf is done, so uh, if you're not done yet, we're going to start with Sheaf. You better have something. You better have something. I, yes, I do, I do. You I do? I believe it uh, would have clearly been uh, from past experience uh, and everything, uh, clearly uh, you are uh, a vampire for three years in a row. Vampire? God, yeah, that vamp plastic teeth would be nasty. Exactly. I will say, I do like running around in a cape, and f that is a proven fact about me. When Capes the prop department has an extra cape, I will be wearing it. 
Uh, I don't think we have the budget for that. All right, well, what's your response? What is a bedsheet ghost with holes punched out for rocks? I was poor as a child, so that... I w could have potentially been Charlie Brown. That also has the oh, cape fact to it. What was the... It was that one kid that always had a dust cloud next to him. I thought it was Charlie Brown that got the rocks in his bag. Well, he got the rocks. Well, well, the other kid got a rock, but it was mm. like part of that joke of like, I got candy, I got this, I got a rack. Yeah, mm. Charlie Brown was the one that got the rocks. You're thinking of what, Pig Pack? Zach, what's your... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, clearly you went as Captain Underpants. So I'm just running around three years in a row and a cape. There's a theme going on here. <laughs> the, yeah. A cape and tidy whities Yep. I did as a child, which says go around in boxers. <laughs> so, so. Um, I don't know if anyone could have guessed this, but it was a ninja. Ah, I was close. I had something of the night. Uh, weirdly enough, there's a gap in family photos for like three years because we can't locate the physical photos right now. Um, and so there's no evidence of this. You're just going to have to believe me that I was a ninja running around my house for three years in a row. But where are you Naruto run? Probably near the end of it. I think that's when I started watching Naruto. Have you ever watched Naruto? <laughs> Unfortunately. All right, here's another segment called Where Was I? Where was I on Wednesday, June 16th, 2004 at 1.12 p.m. and 9 seconds? What? That's so specific. So you you only have this information to go off of. Where was I on June? It's June. It's 2004. What would a child? I was six years old. Uh, uh, uh. Did I get points for the last one? I don't think I did. You, you did sure not. did. Uh, one for everybody. Mm. Okay. Collective okay. one. On the board. Oh. On the board. So collectively, you guys get a zero. <laughs> All right, no. <laughs> I mean, how this one? I mean, you're in the negatives. I mean, no, you're the only one not in the. What is the only one I'm not with almost... the negatives? Jesus no, Christ! No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the positive. negatives. I'm not keeping track of your score. You better. Oh, no. Okay. I want some clarification. Uh, do you want, like, a town slash state location, or do you want, like, a general vicinity of, like, playground or store or something? Um, it can be where I am and also what I was doing. Okay. Because some of the responses, I do put the location. I don't necessarily put the... I don't think there's any in here that are the very specific location. It's more like, oh, I was at park or I was at here doing this. I know exactly where you were at this time. But you don't have to do that. You can just be like, all right, you were doing this at a lake or something. I don't know. I don't have to be creative for this one. I'm the host. I have to have that host energy that I haven't been doing the entire time. Welcome to Jeopardy. And you just won a brand new car. It's made out of cardboard. Yep. Well done. What, do you have an answer for me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was I doing yeah. on yeah. June 16th, 2004? Specifically a Wednesday. You were in the bathroom of a Chuck E. Cheese hyping yourself up because you're about to fight the mouse for making you twerk for tickets. They're making six-year-old me twerk for tickets. You know, it's a mascot. That actually yeah, tracks. I mean, we are all we've heard the stories of Barney. It's not a it's not a great profession. On that sad note, Chief, what do you got for me? <laughs> uh, uh, my best guess was uh, at a Home Depot after uh, school has let out because this is a 4 p.m. Uh, clearly messing with Zach in some way, shape, or form. Uh, That'd be impressive. That would be impressive, uh, considering I didn't mean meet Zach until I was, like, 
16, 15, somewhere around there. <laughs> yeah, we found a time uh, machine. It's fine. We just happened to be at the same home Home Depot that day and just didn't know yeah. who we were. Exactly. Well, you were uh, pretty sure we were states there. away. So. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. Time machine. That doesn't mean we couldn't end up in the same Home Depot. If I have a time machine. Dude. Does that mean I travel back in time, but I also de-age when I travel back in time? <laughs> that would suck for a time machine. Yes. There's some discrepancies in your choice. If you go too choices. far, you might go past when you die oh, and no, just no, cease. Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> All right, Zach, what's your answer? All right. So clearly, you know, I, I know you a bit better than these two do. All right. Okay, so okay. We all know. I say we all know. I know you're a famous troublemaker. So clearly, like, what? Six-year-old you was very obviously in federal prison for multiple accounts of aggravated arson. Um, how did you know? <laughs> uh... <laughs> One of you knows what happened to me at Chuck E. Cheese. One of you knows about my time machine, and you know that. Hmm. I'm going to give Zach three points, because I guess that's the most accurate out of the three. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means, me saying that's the most accurate, but I probably did start a fire when I was six. Uh, I was in a pool, and I may have been missing a chunk of my head. I have a photo of this. I am not going to share it visually for the podcast, because it's me as a child, but I'll share it with you guys. Oh, my God. Where is part of your head? That's what I'm saying. It looks like there's just a chunk taken out of the top of my head. It's just that uh, that ball in the background is just slowly consuming you. Dude, I keep doing yeah. this out of order. I'm supposed to reveal the answer and then choose. <laughs> Isn't that a very artistic photo, though? I feel like that could be oh, another yeah. one of my uh, turn it into an album cover. It could be. Yeah, it totally could. All right, on to the next question. Oh, Discord. We have been, we've had a Discord uh, for, what, six years now? So there's a lot of evidence to go against all of us in this Discord. Um, but I've taken out of context conversations and block it. So what you get to do is fill in that blank and it reads jack zach just called me blank without any context or anything i have never been more insulted in my life that is what i wrote i'm trying to I legit think what i would have said and i think this might actually be one of the one of the things that i did tell you and you got very very <laughs> insulted about i was playing it up probably <laughs> yeah most likely but if if I remember correctly, it was without context. Well, Zach, you're ready, so why won't you just go ahead and call me it? So, this is a genuine response from me. Because I remember me calling you this once, and you did get very, uh... Very much played up, but you did get aggravated and annoyed that I called you Buttercup. Mm, buttercup? I yeah. hate that. I hate that word. It triggers me <laughs> because there's no way if someone calls you buttercup, it is not in a nice way. It's like the Southern, like, oh, bless your heart. It's the same thing to me. I'm not wrong, right? It's just like you don't say that with like earnest towards somebody. <laughs> yeah, like the only thing I could think of is like if you call a a horse or something, Buttercup. I cannot see it said in a positive tone to another human. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're a tiny human. Maybe a tiny human, yeah. Eh, you got me there. I could see someone calling, like, a small child a Buttercup. And even if you're not saying it, it nicely, it, it applies. Children are... Children are children. That is my, uh... My presidential, uh... Damn it, what is it called? Mission? Mission. Statement? Yeah. Statement. Children are ch children. That's my platform. There it is. It came to me. Sheaf, what do you got? Uh, I'm going to assume that he calls you just out of nowhere. Uh, a big sussy baka. Ew. Yeah, exactly. You'd be super offended at that. Zach, can what? you... 
Hold on, hold on. We'll, what do you think of me? We'll, we'll reenact this real quick. Zach, call me that. <laughs> can, can you repeat the thing you just said? A uh, big sussy baka? No. You refused? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured, but it seemed funny. All right, look. What do you got for me? I was just going to say racist. Uh, I mean, I I would say I would I would feel insulted because I'm not a racist if that wasn't clear. <laughs> I have mean, suspicions, but hey now, <laughs> oh no, cancel. JPD has turned into an intervention. <laughs> you see, he posed a a message that gets me canceled, and he gets canceled in return. This podcast is just the evidence against our crimes. <laughs> Exactly. All right. In 2023, it says, Zach just called me an acceptable casualty without any context or anything. I have never been more insulted in my life. Zach <laughs> responded two minutes later, you had the context. Uh, do I remember what that context is? No. But God damn. Just calling someone acceptable <laughs> casualty is so insulting at so many levels. If I recall correctly, I didn't call you an acceptable acceptable casualty. I referred or uh, showed, explained a skit that was done on Arma Three by a group that referred to people as acceptable casualties. Let's start a riot! Riot! Demonetized. <laughs> um, I have to go with Sheaf on this one because the idea of Zach saying that to me is so funny. Like, in what reality would those words ever come out of his mouth? I have no idea, but one may exist. I highly doubt it. Uh, Zach, 20 bucks? Uh, no. Uh, no, I'll pass this time. Mm. Try, try me next <laughs> round. dignity worth 20 bucks? Try me next round. Why is me the host? Am I bribing you? Try, try, try me next round. Uh, Sheaf, three points. Look. Yay. I feel weirdly obligated to give you five points. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> five points for Wook. Um, Zach, I honestly don't remember what your answer was. It was Buttercup and it triggered you. Uh, <laughs> minus one point. Awesome. <laughs> hey, that, you know. Uh, welcome to the next section, which is I like Kingdom Hearts. Um, that is my tism obsession. I realized that the other day. Some people get airplanes or trains, which is cool. I get being obsessed with Kingdom Heart lore. So here we are. What is my favorite Kingdom Heart sh ship? Oh, no. Uh... If you want to do a ship that is outside of Kingdom Hearts, you can. I'm going to tell you the answer is only Kingdom Hearts characters. I kind of figured it was. That includes um, the Disney characters that appear in it and then also Final Fantasy characters that appear in it. Wait, are we not talking about actual ships? No, like, uh, uh I mean, you're going to take it that way. I'm talking about, like, character ships. Uh oh. You can also put gummy ships. <laughs> Clearly, it's the gummy that ship. The most be your favorite. Ship. Me and the gov or gummy I ship is my ship. I have not played the games. I have seen bits of it, and most of the bits I have seen have been the gummy ship bits, and they seem infuriating. They're so boring. If they're so easy. You just strap nothing but guns together, and so you have no hull integrity, but your ship is a literal moving cannon. Did you do the Kingdom Hearts 1 thing where you just uh, break your ship to where you have, like, max boost and then gun? Uh, so many guns that you just hold max boost and the fire button just win? <laughs> Yeah, because then you don't even have to steer. Yeah. Then you can just get the max stars and then go on with your day. But yeah. What I are you think thinking about, high. Zach? I'm thinking about how I actually only know. Uh, uh, I, mean, I, I know there's a lot of Disney characters in there, but there's only two in particular I know from Kingdom Hearts. Well, three. Three is easy. You got you got Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. Okay. And You're their right. respective... There is a third now. I think they're... Their significant others are in the game, but they do just kind of abandon them. 
They show up for a cutscene and then they're never seen or heard from again. Yes. You see uh, Minnie Mouse like once and is like, where did my husband go? And then you're just like, bye, Minnie. And then you just don't talk to her. <laughs> I'm sure you will be uh, absolutely thrilled with my answer, though. All right. All right. Um, all right. Or horrified. It's 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 change it up. Chief. <laughs> clearly, as a man of culture. Mm hmm. That is I. Clearly ship uh, Sora X Xehanort. That would be a weird one. What are you talking about? There's 13 of them. Oh, no. Yeah, it's Sora's own personal harem. I mean, he almost joined said harem. Exactly. So See, it, it writes itself. What? He don't wait. He already has a harem. Kyrie, Riku, Donald and Goofy. Uh, you know, absolutely. Not. Wait, Goofy, hold on. Zach. <laughs> are, you, are you triggering? Well, uh. So I I made the ship name of Doofy, um, Doofy, yeah, which is of course Donald and Goofy. Okay. Uh, that that's all I got for you, unfortunately. That's I mean, I'll take it. Question. Uh, what what do you got for me? I was gonna say Riku and Riku, because they're both Rikus. Like the the clone of Riku and Riku. No 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 no, Riku, and then. Riku from Ten Two? Ten? Wasn't, wasn't Ten Two one of the Yeah, Final one? Fantasy Ten. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. Riku from that one. Is it only them two because they share a name? Yes. And then if you're nasty you can throw in clone Riku and just real weird threesome. Riku's I threesome. Like <laughs> I mean, yeah. It would be Riku. Uh, Zach nailed it, but he didn't get the name right. The official, Dongu? yeah, the official term Dongu? that, that the no shipping, sense. the shipping wiki calls it is Don Goof, but I refer Goofold. Um, that is my own, my own one. Um, well, okay. There's the 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 difference is the name that you put first as opposed to the one that you put at the end of the fused word is supposed to dictate which one is the dob and which one is the sub, I think. Why do you know this information? So Donald's a... Don't ask. Donald's a he, he top? He spends a lot of time on the internet, you see. I mean, yeah. I guess I was closer to... You know, that tracks. Actual time? That, tra <laughs> that tracks. Uh, does anyone want to volunteer to uh, read the, uh, the nice little snippet I have there? A post uh, from... Uh, um, I'll read it out for you guys. Uh, this is a post on Tumblr that someone post. It is titled, No One Uck, But Donald Duck, Kingdom Hearts. I did what mortal men is afraid to do. I wrote Donald Duck and Goofy being gay and happy because sniffles, I deserve it. We deserve it. Memorialize me or give me a single compliment. Either way, take this. I did not click on the take link. This. <laughs> take this. But yeah, that's that's smart. Don't don't click on that. He did what no mortal man could do. Wrote Donald and Goofy fanfic. He is the true god. There's no one better than him. I, I'm sure someone else has done so, but I'll take your word for it. Zach, you get five points. You guessed it correct. Didn't get the right name, but Doofy is pretty good. Um, I'll give two to the other two. Yeah. By the way, I've lost track of your points, so I hope you've been keeping track. Uh, Wookie's doing pretty good. I think he's sitting at like nine at this point. All right. Sure. Welcome in to uh, The Price is Jay, uh, where we question oh. my weird purchases on Amazon that has been documented since the beginning of my Amazon account. You oh, guys get like to a... guess how I much I too. spent on this item. Wait a minute. Spooktacular Creations Banana Costumes Adult Standard Yellow. <laughs> Got no memories. You will be disappointed in me. Uh, this is Price is Right rules, so if you bust, your answer does not count. <laughs> okay, okay, we have to get as close. Right, you know what would be over. more fun? It's allow you guys to guess whatever you want, so if you don't want to guess a price, you can, but you obviously know it's going to be wrong. 
I should have just picked what? the picture of a banana. What would this be worth? That's a good uh, question. I, I... Standard yellow, so it has to be it has to be pretty decent quality. I I hope it was worth enough for me to get pictures taken of me in, and then me getting uh. Oh, that's the true value called? right there. I got I got what what are they called? Santa banana? Santa banana. No. The 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 the, the bugs that burrow under the skin. What the Very fuck? Uncomfortable. What? Remember? Uh, I got that. Needle? No. Shiggers? Yeah. What you say? I know <laughs> it's I don't know why they named it that. It's stupid. <laughs> Sir, 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 go ahead and uh, say it again for HR, please. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, oh, yeah, this is HR. Uh, Zach, what's, want you to Zach, what's your, recording? Zach, tell your answer, please, quick. <laughs> oh, um, I forgot to write down an answer, so I'm just going to go with a uh, buck 50. A buck 50? Actually, On Amazon? No, you know no, no. no. God, no. I'm going to say it was at least 150 bucks because that's what it felt like it would be worth. Is that what I d deserve to pay you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Chief, what's yours? Considering this is a banana suit, of course, you know, banana, but it's fabric and all this other stuff, I got to say, it's probably like 30 bucks. Okay. Look. That's a little ball. Forty three fifty. Forty three fifty. He's probably right on the dot. Right on the dot? Probably. You don't believe in yourself with that guess? Uh hundred and fifty? No. I believe that's what I should have been paid. Mm. Too bad none of you get paid for this. The price was thirty five thirty, so you've got it correct. Yay. I spent thirty five dollars on that banana costume and I wore it for three uh, years. Or used it for three years. It's officially in the trash. It's gone. Understandable. In a landfill somewhere. Forever uh, I, immortalized. Filled with pigeons. I, I'm familiar with the cost of cosplay cosmetics, so it's like, oh, something like this? Yeah, that's around 30 bucks. Uh, Sheev, I'll give you five points. Yay. Zach, I so part of me wants to minus your points for your absurd answer. But you don't get paid, so you don't get anything, so zero points. What? I'm still waiting on that paycheck, man. Look, I'll give you one. You were close. Uh, back no, to no, lore. No. What is my most played game of 2023, according to Steam? Uh, you will be embarrassed. Or not embarrassed. I'll be embarrassed. You'll be disappointed. What did we play? Like, what did our group play in 2023? I was also gone from France for like three months, so I didn't play anything over the summer besides Stardew, I think. The struggle is real, the human experience. <laughs> I also mainly play single player games. Or group games, and that's pretty much it. I don't play triple A titles, mostly. All right, all right, all right. Uh, it's all good. We're going to my favorite person out of the contestants. Yes, I'm picking favorites. Hi, Wook. What's your answer? <laughs> I am a professional. Uh, I got, got uh, Skyrim for the fifth playthrough. I do think I did play Skyrim. I don't think I played a lot of Skyrim last year. I have an issue with Skyrim where I'm like, I'm going to play it again. And then I play it for about an hour and I'm like, I don't want to play it again. <laughs> That's right. fair. That happens. <laughs> All right, Chief. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, a pick that is not a single player game. Because uh, I know you played uh, EDF with a bunch of people for a bit. So it could have potentially taken enough time that it actually nudged up to first. But uh, depending. Because God knows those missions don't always, are not always short. Nope. God, they're long sometimes. That's a that's a pretty decent guess. So, like, what do you, what is your thought? So, I'm gonna go for something, uh, which, you know, I thought maybe, probably not, but maybe it was a an obsession of the the group for a while, and that would be uh, plates up. I'm pretty sure that happened during that time frame during that year. 
that was the time frame of my obsession with plates up and it's almost started again but i haven't played with anybody so we just have too big of a group some nights where it's like ah can't play a four player game there's seven of us yes, uh which is truly a shame uh it was halo infinite it was 15 percent of all games i played on steam uh last year what? um Wait, hold on. it is because Hello. me and zach or zach got really into it zach remember january to march around that time frame you me and john played a lot that is true so and i was pretty much playing every weekend throughout oh, that year i bet you wasn't it your number one uh second was stellaris at eight percent um third was lethal company at seven which makes sense. I guess we played a lot of... Was that when we were doing weekly Solaris games? I think that's when it was. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Uh, Kenji and Wild Frost. Wild Frost is the deck builder that I got obsessed with. Kenji is a lot of fun. So Kenji is my favorite game of all time. And then the bottom... Th uh, the three... Boulder Skate 3, Sands of Solar, and then Plates Up is up there with 4%. All right. Do this for me. Take a photo of something weird. If you don't feel comfortable taking a photo of something weird in your room, um, you can find one on the internet. You have 60 seconds. Go. Uh, what's your definition of weird? Uh, I'm not telling you. <laughs> Are we going to start with Zach? What a beautiful photo of you. <laughs> yeah. You, just, you turned in a photo of you. Just... You look slightly disappointed. Yeah. Is it? Is it because you had to take a photo? Are you yeah. annoyed? Yeah. All right, what to send in a new one? Um, we'll go for the first one, which is a glass that says. What does it say? Some of it I can't read because of. U <laughs> thirty. Yes. Says, no. Is U thirty? Then three check boxes. Yes. No. Bitch, I might be. Hmm. But I'm not there. The second one's actually weirder than I just saw. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> that That is weird. Yeah, I was about to ask the same question. So it's just a that hole? It is a toenail that fell off. Ew. Oh. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> damn, he succeeded in grossing us out. He clearly wins. God damn it. Oh. And then see if you just send a photo of your uh, figurines. <laughs> Yes, but one of those does not belong with the others. Ooh. Uh, top right. <laughs> what do you mean top right? Bottom right, you mean? No, or I was just pointing right? out the, the one that everyone... Yeah, Stolfo. But you are right, that one does not fit the, the, uh, the theme going on here. Plus, your boy is the one next to him, too. This feels like bribery. And I'm all for it. What? No. You sent a you you put a photo of yourself in there. I'll give you five points. Uh, look, I'll give you four, and Chief, I'll give you three. God, it wasn't that weird. I forgot that. Actually, no, the toenail, yeah, toenail. Look, I'll give you just five points for the toenail. <laughs> I think I, I, I think I that's the change. weirdest thing out of everything that people sent. I, I legit forgot that I put in my picture in Discord on the phone. So whenever I opened up my phone again to attract the points, the Discord o chat opened up and it was just a zoomed in picture of the nail. <laughs> the, the toenail. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you, you can never scared. escape. Yes. It got me. All right. Welcome back to Jayism. According to the lyrics, Hey, d witch doctor, give us the magic words. What is his magic words? Zach, you should know this, considering how many times I've repeated this song and played it in a car. I, I think I just remember the last bit. I did tell the witch doctor I was in love with you. It does say multiple words. I don't know how to spell any of that. <laughs> Well, you're saying it out loud. I'm forcing you to sing this song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But then someone could copy answer. That is true, but uh, we play by the honored system. Everyone cheats, and I turn a blind eye. <laughs> well, I mean, I haven't yet, and I have. I honestly do not remember anything about what the witch doctor says. He doesn't say so a I'm lot, surprisingly. Dancing. Zach, are you ready? Wait, no. Ah, oh, this is the wrong song. I think, unless it's just a ripoff. Uh, why don't you share it with us? Alright, so I've got... <clears throat> Sing for Ooh. me. No. Uh, <clears throat> ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ee, walla, walla, bing, bang. But I think that might actually be the chipmunks. Sir, I believe part of that is wrong. I believe that might actually be Alvin and the Chipmunks. And I'm like, wait, is that a, just a ripoff? They do a lot uh, of covers. It could be a cover. No, I think he's right, because that's the ooh ee ooh ah, ah ting tang walla walla bing bang. Yeah, that yeah, that yeah. One. That's the reason why I, I was like, wait, hold up. I think that I've got this mixed up. Do they just steal gonna... that section of the song? It's entirely possible. Huh. They're chipmunks, they don't care about copyright laws. Uh, Chief, what did you put? Oh, like, I'm pretty sure that's technically the correct answer, but uh, I know that's not what I put, because I sure as heck did not remember the song at all. So uh, my immediate thought was just a whole bunch of weird onomatopoeia noises. So I have put down, woo-wah, woo-wah, bam, bam, boom, uh, <laughs> shakalaka. <laughs> hey, witch doctor, give me the magic words. Boom, <laughs> shakalaka. <laughs> Oh, uh, what what do you got for me? Um, uh, essentially, what uh, she said, but I feel like if I say it out loud, a demon's gonna spawn in my room. Mm, uh, yeah, if you say it three times, it will appear. The old Latin. If you say it three times in Discord, the magic man will appear. Like essentially, the, the ooh ee. I can just show it. Everyone's like on the same page. Ooh, ee, uh, ooh, ah, ting, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. So when yeah. I was looking this up, every other line in the song is tang, tang, but the guy slips up and they keep it in there. So unless you know that snippet, you would never probably guess ting, tang. Well, I know it only because of the chipmunks, because that one's stuck in my friggin' head, but like, I did not remember that this is where it came from. It's oh, a song yeah. by cartoons called Witch Doctor. Ironically, I didn't even watch the Chipmunk movie. I wasn't paying attention. I was doing work, but it was ingrained in my head. That movie was the first uh -huh. time that I used uh -huh. Japanese, and I'm mad about it. Uh, they have Alvin and Chipmunk uh, dolls, and when they pull the... There's a joke about them, like, they're going to be famous in Japan, and then they pull the, the line, and it says, Hello, my name is uh, Alvin. In Japanese. And then I was like, I know what that means exactly. <laughs> they said it wrong. <laughs> Who would have thought? Uh, we're back to lore. We while in community college, a girl flirted with me during class. How did I respond? <laughs> Zach, wrong answers only for you. Damn. I wonder what uh, Zach will come up with. I, I, I know the truth. This is the one time that I'm like, hey, I actually know this. I can say it. Who like, would have thought I had social it. issues? <laughs> Wait, no. Part of, part of this is... Okay, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of the, the other bit. I mean, I've got a full sentence right now, but part of it is what you actually did. To... No, it wasn't. Oh, no, I got this. <laughs> Everybody good? You're not yep. that bad. What? I don't want to open up the toenail and browser, so leave me alone. Still seems like a personal problem. All right, Zach. Tell me the truth. I did not mean to click next, but hold on. Let me... Oops. Close your eyes. Wait, wait. Tell you the truth. Am I supposed to tell you what actually happened or what you've told me to put down? Uh... The truth. I can tell you both. Just tell me the, what... You... 
Zach, the joke, the joke was you giving me the truth that's incorrect because I won't let you tell me the truth. So just tell me what you wrote. <laughs> I got you. So you respond, immediately responded with, I have a boyfriend with a wink, and you're still not sure how that flirting tactic didn't work. What does that mean? Does that mean I don't have a boyfriend? Like, am I insinuating I don't have a boyfriend, or I'm just going to cheat on them immediately with this girl? I mean, that's... that's a Either thing. or. I don't know what, you were, what was running through your mind whenever you, said you did that. Probably, like, I don't have a boyfriend, I would say. I don't think I would cheat, you know? That's kind of fucked up. Chief, what do you got for me? Uh, I went with uh, nervous laughter followed by a comment that is uh, probably the fastest foot in mouth uh, situation possible. Like uh, responding with thanks, I like your skin or something else along those lines where you immediately said it, then you immediately in your mind were going, fuck! That is... uh, thanks. Uh, I like your teeth. Fuck. <laughs> she, yeah, how exactly. did you know? What? Uh, nothing. Uh, uh, not even close. What? <laughs> uh, I like to think your fight or flight kicked in, and the wires got crossed, so you sucker punched her right in the jaw. This took place and in the middle of a test, went, nope. by the way. No, it wasn't a test. He was giving out the test from the previous thing. <laughs> Answer still applies. Hey, the smith <laughs> knock her out. Jesus. <laughs> like, oh, oh. Don't flirt with me. I don't like test. girls. I will hit. Don't <laughs> enter my no-no square. <laughs> the correct answer. I panic and did finger guns. Then uh, that was the last time I ever interacted with her. Ah, panic finger guns. So teacher handing out tests. She flirts with me. And then, and she wasn't sitting right next to me. She was sitting a little bit, she was sitting like across the little gap for the teacher to walk down. Um, and I just did not, it was like a silence for 10 seconds and then I did finger guns. And then I sat there for the rest of the class in shame. Understandable. Don't know why I did that. Um, Fight or flight. My fight or flight is giving finger guns and then awkwardly slamming my head against the desk. Hey, Wook was pretty close. That's your fight. Because <laughs> had your real gun. <laughs> All right, work. Three points. Um, Zach, I forgot what yours is. Forget mine, man. I don't know. Could you tell me what yours was again? Mine was you responded. Immediately with, I have a boyfriend with a wink. Ah, I see. And then... Zach and Chief, I'll give you one. I like the responses, but... You know, I did kind of fight or flight, finger guns. Um, they used to stick me in a horror scenario, so when the monster is coming up to me, I'll just give him finger guns moments before dying. Or it will confuse them enough for me to get away. Brilliant. That would be the first to die. No, the monster would be scared of you because they don't understand the reason why you're giving them finger guns. That was the way to defeat the monster. I won. Uh, we're back to where was I? I was where? Where was I on Friday, December 24th, 2004 at 9 a.m. Well, more specifically, 9.37 a.m. with 49 seconds. Uh, by the way, I know all this information because I have metadata on family photos. I don't know. It feels weird having the power of being like, I know exactly where I was on Friday, December 24th. Zach, where were you on Friday, December 24th, 2004? Well, let's see. This would be... I would be six. So probably... Probably... Actually, I know exactly where I was. Are you going to... Elaborate or uh, uh, why do you know where you were at nine thirty seven and forty nine seconds? Because I, I know how early the family festivities are and we go to the same place every year the day before Christmas. But you don't know uh, exactly where you were. <laughs> I know the location I was in. 
All right, share your answer. Oh, uh, uh Guantanamo <laughs> Bay. <laughs> what was I doing out there? <laughs> Clearly being waterboarded. This six-year-old knows. He has to have the information. <laughs> no, no. He knows too much. Around, Chief. <laughs> what was that, Zach? <laughs> It's the other way around. After the, the, the federal prison, they realized he was a hardcore baby. Not baby. Uh, kid. Hardcore they, baby. Uh, just... Sounds like a reality show. That, that was their nickname for him. Then they sent him to Guantanamo Bay to uh, do torture. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was that my code name? Hardcore baby? Yeah. yeah my alias? Alright, what, what do you have? Saying Chuck E. Cheese from earlier, but actually fighting the mouse this time. I mean, he deserved it after what he did. It's probably the full again. Okay. Chief. Uh, you were clearly, since this would have been Christmas Eve and all, uh, 9.30? I'm going to go with uh, sleeping in so that you could stay up late and ambush Santa Claus with your Home Alone-style traps. Hmm. Me sleeping in. What a weird and you concept. Have problems. I mean, you have sleep problems now. I imagine you probably slept okay as a kid, but I mean, I don't know. No, I, I, I was the kid that would wake up at like 4 a.m. and then my parents would let me open one present. Um, And then they entertained me until everyone else is up. But also I uh, noticed that like when I was five, I think the year before, I saw my dad getting all the gifts out of the back of our car, and I was like, that's that's not from Santa Claus. Uh, the correct re answer was being a horse girl, girl and ho opening presents. Girl. Why can't I say that word normally? What? I share the photo. I was a horse girl. Is there a problem with me being a horse girl? There is a photo of me. Uh, we, for whatever reason, opened photos the day before. I think we were leaving to go on go visit family that was out of state. So we did it all before so we didn't have to, like, open presents on, like, New Year's when we got back. Um, But I got a horse present and I'm wearing horse slippers. I was being a horse girl, okay? Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> hey, listen, there's there's no shame, no shade, hardcore baby. I understand. <sighs> Zach, I'll give you I'll give you four points for hardcore baby. Thank you for uh, your service. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. Yeah, it's just you, you got the points. Let's move on. I don't want to fight Chuck E. Cheese. He would win. I think he would win now if I went after him. He's a CGI digital mouse now. I can't stand a chance. All right, back to O Discord. It reads from me. Uh, 2021, I have a plan, blank. Sheaf responds, I do not think you are immune to fire yet, but it sure sounds fun. What was my plan? Dude, I should have went through our old Discord servers. That would have been funny. I'm known to come up with great plans that don't put myself in danger. I mean, the silence says otherwise, but trust me, I... I'm good at making plans. We'll file that one under a maybe. Of course, I had a burp as soon as I had to move on. Uh, Zach. Uh, so I'm fairly certain. Oh no, maybe this was 2022. It might have been 2020. Actually, no. You guys played Di uh not Diablo. Um. Oh no. What's it called? <laughs> Divinity Original Sin Two. Or I feel I feel like it was multiple years. Um, it took us like a year and a half to get to the final boss, and then says never beat it. Yes. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah, I I put down because I I I know you in this. Um, I'll rush in. You guys fill the area in with oil and light it up. I'll survive. Hmm. Well, there's one one issue with that. Why would I care if I survive? I mean, it's just the immediate response afterwards. I mean, I probably wouldn't have survived. Of course not. In reality, they probably would all be dead from my explosions, and I would be standing in flame. 
Yeah. Sheev. I remember very specifically. This was in reference to the, the Divinity Original Sin too, because yeah. yes, we're absolutely a pyromancer. Uh, I don't remember what the plan was or what boss this was in particular, but this was most of your plan in that game, which involved uh getting as close to the boss as possible and dumping as many fiery spells as possible and i think this particular plan just involved uh like a bajillion oil barrels as well so mm -hmm. it was i it was one of those you know i didn't expect your guys's memory to be this good of know what i talked about maybe i should have blocked out the immune to fire <laughs> <laughs> maybe that was the definite keyword there that made both of us think. Oh, uh, what, what do you have for me? Having zero context of this scenario. <laughs> uh, mine was step one, self-immolation. Step three, profit. You know, that I mean, probably would fix, fit in that box, too. It really would, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. Did not expect you guys to... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Do it, but the exact words is I have a plan. Slather me up with oil and send me in, coach. Yeah, because I think the problem was 90% of the time, if we went into a boss fight, it of course turned into an absolute mess because of all the elements going around. But like the bosses would almost always rush you down, and you would just set yourself and everything next to you on fire. I as, think like, they're retaliation. I that, also that just drew aggro player. because everyone was on fire. <laughs> I, I was the mix combo of, like, the earth magic that caused, like, the oil spills and the fire, so I'd also just light up the field, including myself in that game. Uh, five points for Zack and Chief. Look, I'll give you two, because I like your answer. Uh, back to King Chan Hearts. Uh, what is the name of the gummy ship in my the first time I ever played Kingdom Hearts in 2005, I think, is when I played the first one? Or seven? The gummy ship is back. It's here. It's back with a vengeance. Uh, well, clearly, clearly as a kid, going back, harkening back to uh, kind of a time travel sort of thing, but not. Uh, you could actually see into the future, but you just didn't quite realize and you lost it as you got older. Is uh, that what those dreams were? Yes. Uh, but you, there was always one vivid, vivid dream that you had recurring. And I'm sure of this. And it was of a character in Tales from the Borderlands wearing a hat that had, that was for a famous character that was shot off into oblivion. Oh, don't get me started on that BS. Catch a ride as he exploded. And that character is the one and only Scooter. Fucking kill Scooter in a side game. How dare they? You excited for the Borderlands movie? <laughs> Uh, no. I mean... Alright, Sheev. I was hoping <laughs> someone would pick up after that. <laughs> anyway, uh, clearly you, uh, were already prepared for what you were going to, uh, fight in the game, so you clearly named your ship the, uh, HMS F.U. Heartless. I mean, F.U. Heartless is fair. Granted... Does Kingdom Hearts 1 even have any bosses that are heartless? I feel like most of them are just people. Most of the Kingdom Hearts 1 bosses are technically like the Disney villains or other people. Yeah. There are huh. so many heartless that you fight, including there, there, bosses. There's optional there ones. One. There is one, technically. It was half of the boss fight, and that was the heartless chameleon thing for the... Uh... Look at you learning lore. The Heartless Chameleon thing for uh, What's-His-Face that I don't know the actual name but the dude from Tarzan. <laughs> Look, what do you have for me? Uh, well, yeah, I mentioned it earlier. I just went with Doof. Doof? That's a good one. I yeah, I was a six-year-old that so named good. my uh, Butterfree and Silver uh, Butterballs. <laughs> Uh, it was High Wind. I never changed the first time I played, but the second time it was Fart Bucket. <laughs> ah, Final Fantasy. Yeah, makes sense. I should re. I should use that again. I should name something Fart Bucket. Um. Uh, Zach, zero points. Damn. 
really thought I'd get you with the whole looking to the future thing. Look, I'll give you four and see if I'll give you two. I wouldn't name it after Scooter. I didn't even know what you were talking about for the first 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes, 20, minutes. 20 seconds. Ah, right, we've been here for a while. <laughs> what year is it? All right, we're back to the J is price. Um, uh, how much did I pay for this book that says how to hide a boner, especially when you are in a presentation? Funny notebook, humorous cover, fake book cover for prank, journal to write, lined book covers, prank, blank book, six out of yeah. eight. Six, six, eight. That was a mouthful. You also have pictures, multiple pictures of me with that book as well. Um, Dude, it's a great bit. When you walk out into a room for how... <laughs> when you walk in or walk out on Halloween in a banana costume and sit down around your friends reading How to Hide a Boner, it's a great bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last time I dressed up for Halloween, too. Uh, Zach, do you have a have a bid for me? I'm gonna go with a hearty twelve forty five. Twelve forty five. That's a that's a like a normal book price. Yeah, I know it's inside of that book. How to hide a boner? Sheev, I, I I keep forgetting it's from Amazon. It is from Amazon, Sheev. Uh, let's see. Considering you had to order it off of Amazon, and therefore you had to get it shipped to you and everything. I have Amazon uh, Prime, free shipping. Oh, okay, that's Aww. nice. Uh, considering that it's just a little book cover, and it's just a silly little... little it is an actual movie. book. Oh, okay. The title is stupid. <laughs> in that case, it is probably twelve ninety nine ninety nine. Okay, okay. What? He says price is right, Zach. He said twelve ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, ninety ninth yeah. of a penny. Okay. Sure. Exactly. <laughs> what 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 would you label this as? Based on it being like a book book, but not like a book book. Might be a book. And people charge money for things. I'ma say twenty three sixty seven. Fair argument. Uh, it was indeed six dollars and forty-one cents. Oh, we all busted. Use a coupon. Uh, no points. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was six bucks. There's nothing on the inside. It's supposed to be like a journal on the inside. So clearly, they put the cover on a different book. I guess they just had a bunch of journals they were trying to sell, and they're like, "Why don't we make it into a prank book?" I don't know. I wanted to fill it up with Evanescence uh, lyrics, but I ran out of time. I no That's longer like own this. Exactly true. You've had that book for years. I meant for that, the reason I bought the book. <laughs> that Halloween specifically. Uh, uh, do this for me. Send me a picture of a goblin. Oops. It can either be online or you can just take a photo of something and say it's a goblin. <laughs> Your timer starts now. What can be defined as a goblin? You see, goblin is like the term cupcake. Anything can be in the shape of a goblin. Or be defined as a goblin. Part of me wants to scream about cupcakes for a solid minute as you guys do this, but, you know... I love these tasks because it's like everyone leaves and I'm just here alone. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Anyway, I'm done. If Zach sends the same photo of himself, I'm quitting. <laughs> no. All right, we're going to go from the top to the bottom. Sheaf, you sent a photo of uh, one of my characters uh, from a TTRPG that we yeah. play offline. Um, what is the meaning behind this? Of what? She's a goblin. You can't tell me otherwise. Hmm. They can shape their body into whatever they want. And they loot random things that aren't nailed down. I'm going to use that potted life. plant. <laughs> yeah, eventually, I imagine. But like the fact that you're carrying a potted plant and two fire extinguishers is an interesting choice. 
Don't you judge me. I have plans. Look, uh, you... There is no judgment. <laughs> Look, sent a gift of a goblin dancing. Goblin Goonin. He is Goonin. Uh, Zach sent a... Clash a... Of clans? Yeah, he sent the Class of Clans goblin. Um... Ironically, I was going to try to pull the the the, the Digimon uh, Goblin Mon. I, I forgot how to spell his name, and I spent too long trying to search for him. So then I was like, I don't have to be faster. <laughs> hey, that one's Gobbly. Yeah, it's Gobbly Mon. That's the reason why it never showed up. But if you uh, oh, if I... you watch any of the Digimon Eclipse, half the time we say Goblin Mon. I don't know if that's just easier or what. Yeah, yeah, mostly. Uh, best character in Eclipse. Goodbye. Uh, okay, okay. Looking at the photos I have. Uh, five points for Dancing Goblin. Uh, three points for Clash of Clans. <laughs> One point for you and Salty, my gremlin. Oh, you're right, gremlin. gremlin. Yes. Oh, my apologies. Wrong. <laughs> Uh, back to ism. Uh, this one is it's blank, a pause, and then fuck. You need to fill the center word. Uh, dang, it could be so many things. It's just my name. It's Jay. Fuck. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Every time I enter a room, yeah, I kick Zach's doors down and just yell. It's Jay. He's the one that's yelling fuck. Yeah. Ah. You, you gotta take it in context. No, it's him busting in my door, screaming, it's Jay, and then I shoot him in the eye with some uh, pepper spray. He, he's gotta learn somehow. Everyone got their answers? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. We haven't started with Wook in a minute. Uh answer is it's it's not racist <laughs> fuck i'm starting to see a theme <laughs> you you want to repeat that with hr present hmm? you kind of have to give him points man it's being directed towards me <laughs> i mean sheep can attest I've, I've called it on him a couple times oh he totally has when i enter room it's not racist <laughs> What a way to enter a room. Mm -hmm. uh, Sheaf, what do you got for me? Uh, I I was going along lines of uh, it's simple or it's easy. And then you immediately uh, having a task blow up in your face. So you go, fuck. That does seem like something I would do. This also means that I quote it randomly out loud. And it's probably not the best thing to have as one of my things stuck in my brain. Zach, you may know this. So, so mine is coming from a, a perception of, you know, something bad is coming up, you know, something mm -hmm. is, is, is about to happen, and you're not quite sure who it's going to happen to, but you say, it's going to be me. Fuck. It's going to be me. <laughs> uh, song from my favorite movie, Robots. <laughs> I think it's in there. I don't think it is. I'm gonna say it is and continue. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'll do it. Prove <laughs> wrong unless you watch it um, again. Actually, I'd be up exactly. For that. that was a fun movie night. I was having a blast. Uh, what five points? Uh, Zach and Chief. Uh, three. All great answers. Um. That I would, I would say. <laughs> I feel like I've been put in a corner and everyone's staring at me. <laughs> we are, you yes. Put yourself I mean... in this corner, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's actually Pikachu. <laughs> oh, it's oh, the Beeple, it? yeah. It's the vine it's of the. Pikachu. Yeah, it's the vine of the guy. Oh, okay, yes. Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu. It's Pikachu. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> I screamed that out in the middle of the movie Pacifier because there was a Pikachu in the background. 
<laughs> I'm sure that didn't startle anyone. Uh, I win and where me friend. Uh, where was I on Friday, March 10th, 2006? Why are all these 2006? The I last mean, two were 2004, one. Zach. Yeah, he's eight now. He's been doing stuff and eating more paste. Eight year old. What crimes are you doing at eight? I was out in the forest eating things I wasn't supposed to, and somehow I'm still alive. Got it. Several accounts of having uh, hallucinogenic mushrooms. That's what's wrong with me? An eight year old found mushrooms in the forest? Yes. Uh, yeah, I was an avid drug user since the, uh, since the age of eight. That's how cool I am. My brain never fully develops, but look at me. Making a game show about myself. <laughs> I've I've come so far. Some may say this was not the direct path for me, but there's better paths out there. But here I am. Playing J Pretty. Uh, Zach, do you got an answer for me? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, at this point, after you served your time, and then you just did the torture, uh, you decided to put that life behind you, and you just at the playground having some fun. At 8 p.m. Uh, but, you know, that's just the kind of kid you are. You're still hardcore. You're just... Just without parents at the playground? Yeah. Hmm. That seems about right. It did just kind of run off into the town I lived in and just did whatever. Oh, yeah. And then the, the cops came. Uh, The cops knew me by name and would pick me up and take me home if I, I ended up in a place I wasn't supposed to be. Because yeah. I would just start walking in one direction and then just go through the forest of wherever that direction is. Jeez. I, that could bring back some memories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was at a playground. What do you have for me? Let's see. It's when you were eight, but it's also close to nighttime. So I had to go with you found yourself in an Ikea store and you were assembling furniture. <laughs> hmm. Child labor. Yes, exactly. It was my first job. Yes. We had to support my family somehow. Look, what do you got for me? You were running out of a Catholic church. Mid mass. <laughs> Is it because I didn't like the church, or I was just like, I don't know. I mean, Father Dave was like, stop. <laughs> and I was like, no. And I was that it. That was a... <laughs> for him or not, but like, hey, that's, that's what you was doing. Like, chef don't judge. So we got a that's playground. We got me running out of a Catholic church and chief. Why am I blanking on yours immediately? Oh, working at an Ikea. Yes, child labor. Yeah, to, to support your family, <laughs> but you could never actually deliver the money because you were trapped. Okay. Because it's an Ikea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was causing my family a, uh, to have a financial crisis. <laughs> oh, damn, so I was close. Well, actually, th the opposite. No, no, I mean, if you walk into an Ikea, you buy stuff even without needing to, so. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Probably I was actually paying probably. them to build the furniture. <laughs> exactly. Uh, March 10th is my birthday, so I was exactly eight, and I got to cho choose a restaurant because I was eight, and we chose a seafood place where we were like, ah, this isn't expensive. We see it on the road all the time. It shouldn't be that expensive. Um, uh, it was. The bill was like $300 or something like that in the midst of us being poor and uh, I think it was right around or right before the housing crisis. What state was that? Uh, Tennessee. <laughs> That's why seafood was so expensive is because it was in the middle of a landlocked state. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say that. Very that one had no flavor. I don't know. I was eight. <laughs> that was a rough couple of months after that one. Uh, welcome back to King Kingdom He Arts. Uh, uh, Key Gerp Dumb Hearts. Uh, what world do I want in Kingdom Hearts Four? I have two answers for this: one legitimate, and then another one not legitimate. And it's definitely any any property. <laughs> well, it has to be something that Disney has access to. 
Will we even get Disney characters in Kingdom Hearts 4? <laughs> that also mm. isn't in existence in the other Kingdom Hearts games. Which yes. I, of course, am the A specialist when it comes to what is involved in the Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, I wouldn't mind sequels to places because we didn't get that in three because they were like, we have access to Pixar. Let's use all Pixar. And it was lame. All right. Zach, give it to me. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to throw it to you straight this time. I believe you're wanting a uh, Lilo and Stitch world. I know that does not exist. Unless it does, in which case you want a sequel. Um, They had a... It does already exist, but it's only the sp space station. There's... They haven't done anything with, like, the actual planet. Which would be I fun, see. honestly, going down there. But also, that would just be like, hey, we're in the human world. They probably don't do it because of all the island shit that's already in Kingdom Hearts. But that would be fun. Lilo and Stitch, okay. Sheev? Well, since Disney owns Star Wars now, you gotta have a Star Wars world so you can have Sora learn to use the Force. No. That way. He could use the force to just kill people and just not use his keyblade anymore. It'd be great. But we we already got the laser sword guy. <laughs> yeah, but then there'd be more laser swords. And you also have to realize the potential. What the hell would of the that world? All right. So imagine it unlocks one world, but with DLCs, eventually you can unlock the entire. Dude, if they turn world. Kingdom Hearts in, hey, buy a DLC world and just keep doing that, I'm gonna be so sad. Specifically oh, for man, Star Wars, though. Ugh. Uh, I, no, Star Wars bad. Uh, look, what do you have for me? <laughs> uh, I was going to say Pride Rock at night. And then that one scene from the Whatchamacallit where they like, Can you feel this lion doing lion shit? <laughs> I, I, don't know, I feel like I lost the plot. <laughs> More lion kick, got it. <laughs> There's already Lion King. <laughs> More Lion King. Dude, they do like Lion King 2 or 3 where it's like, yes, the entire plot is that uh, all the lions are racist and we're at a... a uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said it's li that movie is about a race war between the lions and the hyenas. <laughs> and it's uh, a direct yes, video war. That is completely different. These are animals. <laughs> Literally. I mean, they're animated. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me it's animated. not real lions? No, no. You know what I want? I want the I want the Lion King world, but it's the CGI Lion King. Oh, oh God! No. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not C. It's live action. They do no, label no. it as that. It drives me insane. <laughs> <laughs> Two sequels and Chief. Um, in hindsight, this joke on this slide is, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, my joking one, I a hundred percent understand that's the, like no, that would be pretty cool it's just because not a lot of people like that movie it will never happen. And also Seinfeld would just be so funny. It's just kicking the door open. Do they have it? rights to Seinfeld? Cause if so, no, then... I put a joke one down, but Disney is slowly requiring everything. Yeah, so I mean, like, you could totally have, yeah, Kramer kicking the door down and sliding in, and Sora just decking him with the keyblade because he gets surprised. Jerry! There's Heartless Jerry! <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, Jerry! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm the only one on the existent in existence that would find that funny. Um, in the bottom corner, I put another Disney property called uh, Song of the South because it is notoriously oh. terrible. It is one of the most like, oh, Disney, you are the worst uh, company that you ever made this. It is a movie where a young white kid right after they abolish slavery goes and talks to an elderly like um, black man that tells a bunch of different stories of how life was on the plantations back in the day. But it's not realistic whatsoever. And it's so bad. But the idea of Sora walking in a house and this old man is just like, sit down, Sora. It's time to teach you about racism. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Donald Goofy, uh, Donald, I know you have experience with this already. 
Alright, sit on down, we're gonna... I'm gonna tell Wait, you... Why does Donald <laughs> have experience with this? Hold on. Uh, his past, post World War II, when they used him in uh, anti-Japanese propaganda. Oh yeah, yeah. No, you're right. But just that imagery is so funny to me. Sit on down, Sora. We're gonna we're gonna teach you about racism. <laughs> Would Sora even understand that concept? Robot. Is there even a person of color in that game? Besides maybe, like, one NPC yeah, that just walks back and forth. Parts? Yeah. It's primarily, like, white anime guys. Yeah, pretty much just white anime guys. All right. We got the price for Jay. Uh, I have this on my windowsill right now. Uh, how much in 2022 did I spend on a crazy bones skeleton baby duck? Oh, I remember this thing. I still have it. It's over there. It's like a little plastic toy that's just a skeleton of a duck, and for some reason we discovered, or Kelly pointed out to me yesterday, that it has uh, webbed feet. But it's bone? Yep. Whoever designed this plastic duck gave it webbed feet for whatever reason. I don't know. Are you telling me that the, the, the webbed, webbed feet is bones? Yeah. Bone? yeah. What? For this specific duck, yeah. <laughs> all right, Zach, do you want to take the lead? Or do you want to be? Yeah, I don't. I think you've taken the lead with all of this. Do you want the opportunity? The price is right, everybody. I'll give it to you. I, I mean, sure. I, I thought we had to lock in our answers before we answered, but yeah, I mean, sure. I can, I can do the price right. Cool. I mean, I wouldn't know. Just tell me it was your That's answer. True. Do people do it on prices right as all the time? Do you think the fourth person picks what they had in mind at the beginning? No, they absolutely don't. All right, Chief, how much did I spend in 2022 on a plastic duck? I remember it being, like, way higher than you wanted it to be, or at least it was like, there's this should not be this expensive kind of nonsense. So I think it's, it's like, 30 bucks. It was an impulse purchase. Yeah, I'm saying it's 30 bucks. All right, what? I'm going to say, uh... I'm going to go a little high at 38.50. Okay, okay. All right, Zach. Your total uh, legitimate answer that you had from the beginning. Uh, It is actually the still legitimate answer I had from the beginning. I did not do it at the price, right? I'm going to say 15 bucks even. Okay. Uh, 16.17. Ah, we were a little high. Zach got just, just a little bit. Zach did win. Zach take five. I don't know four points. Take five damage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> well, you guys didn't know that I was slowly making you take damage doing this. Just take damage. <laughs> We're just unaware. This is hurting us so slowly. No, my IQ dropped a couple, but goddamn. It's just my domain expansion. Don't worry about it. <laughs> This is in the middle of Jujutsu guys, and they just go into a game show. Popeye's biscuits, no drink. I love that meme so much. <laughs> <laughs> Domain expansion, crippling depression. <laughs> oh, oh no! Uh, welcome to Final Jeopardy, gamble losers. Uh, this is how this is going to work. Um, in the chat and Discord, put how many of your points that you are wagering. If you get if I get to decide if uh, if you get it correct or not. So if I like your answer, you're going to get the double. If it's wrong and I don't like the answer, you're not going to get the double. Do you not have the exact amount? She is. Uh, I totally lost count, but I'm wagering all of them. Looks ahead. He has to be ahead because I gave you guys so many oh, negative yeah. points at the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, Wook is after. I'm sitting at 32 points right now. I am. Big chilling. <laughs> None of us remember the points besides Wook. He knows his. That's not true. I kept track of mine. Thank you. What is yours, then? 28 points is what I'm sitting at before I offered the, the 10 points. Is that plus or minus the 10 from the start? Uh, I was only 5. Thank you. 
Yeah, I was the one at minus 10. I think I'm sitting closer to around 22 or 23. Oh, I don't have Discord pulled up. What do you get? Do, are you guys ready for the final question? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we watch it. <laughs> you pulled the two points. <laughs> All right. What do I say after saying this? Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Did we type that one? Uh, no, we'll do we'll re do reveal the same. Like in Jeopardy. This is when the Jeopardy music plays. Do 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 do. Is everyone locked in? Yeah. All right. Yeah. We will start with Sheaf. Oh, I actually have nothing good for this. I just went with uh, you saying Ollie Ollie Oxen Free. Surprise, it's me. Okay. There's another good contender of me entering a room and saying that. Violently kick oh. up the door. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, Zach is saying, oh, no. Let's see what he's saying, oh, no, about. You see, I'm used to this phrase because I, I, I learned it from, uh, like, hide and seek and stuff, and it was kind of like a... It's weird. I think it was, like, the way that people were kind of, like, brought... Like, we were told it was okay, like, the game was over. So I put down Ali Ali Oxen Free, it's hunting time. That doesn't fit the rhyme scream. <laughs> no. Ali Ali Oxen Free. It's, it's time, time to hunt. Once you know, once everyone came out of their hiding. So you trick the I, I would have in this scenario I say it trick everyone to come out of their hiding space and then hunt them. Yes. Is this a part of the lore you're building up as me being a Prison escapee. Is this a part of it? Uh, what What do you mean, the lore? That that just is no, your no, lore. That's, shame. that's fact. This <laughs> right here is just something I thought would be funny because of the, the implications that are brought about because of it. I see. Look. Uh, I put a surprise butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie, <laughs> Ollie, <laughs> oxen free. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like right in the old starfish that seems like another contender for me entering a room <laughs> it's unapologetically going right for the start <laughs> <laughs> uh, to reveal this ollie ollie oxen free I really really got the pee oh it had to rhyme that's it didn't have to rhyme Oh. Yeah, it doesn't have to. Uh, she, if you do not, you, you lose all your points, whatever that number is. Yep, yep. Don't worry, I'm at zero now. See, nice and even. Uh, Zach, I don't want to hunt children. I don't know if I would play hide and seek with adults. That would be fun. Um, but yeah, you would play hide and seek with adults. If it was adults, I would probably have a foam sword and just actually hunt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I feel like that's something we would have done during one of our, our like cabin um, cabin trips if we had the option to. Too bad we were stuck in a cabin off the side of a mountain. Yeah. 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 Uh, look. Um, you know what? None of you get your double points. But it doesn't matter. Look wins. Hooray. Uh, yeah. Hey. Um, Congratulations. Congratulations, Wook, for winning the first ever J Purdy. I'm sure we'll be back here at some point in the future. Uh, probably not me as the topic because I ran out of ideas very quickly. Uh, you want to know your prize? Um, a lifetime of supply of you never getting this time back. What, what do the losers get? A lifetime of supply of never getting this time back. Yeah, how, how, how come we get the same thing? Coming. It should be different. Um, I actually uh, bragging rights. That's I racist. wholeheartedly agree with. Oh, well, you know, no, I, I'm going for. It. I wholeheartedly agree with Wook. Hmm. How do we? How do we up this to balance it out? Easy. HR. Oh wait, no, this isn't balancing. HR. 
<laughs> Thank oh, you yes, for sorry. watching us listening to uh, Jay Pretty. Uh, bye. Um, Get him! Wait, wait. FBI, open up! Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yes, uh, we're in here. We've been kidnapped. Hello? Oh, Not my good. final question. That wasn't the final Jeopardy question, apparently, but that's fine. <laughs> what was the final Jeopardy question? Uh, bonus round. As a child, what was my first cartoon crush? Oh, Lola uh, Bunny Space Jam. Done. Okay. okay. Zach, no, speed, that's, round, that's round, speed round, speed round, Zach. First thing uh, come to mind. Glenn from... Total Drama? No, Total Drama Island is actually a uh, teenager thing, so... It could still be my first crush as a child. That's true. Yeah, oh. Gwen from Total Drama Island. Chief? Uh, Kim Possible or Shigo, one of the two. Probably she Um, uh, um, it was Starfire. Oh, uh, no, that's fair. Uh, screw you, Raven stands. Yeah, uh, you take that back. Starfire all the way. I think Titan's gone down so, so much. Since, uh... Actually, actually, you know what? It is? Starfire was definitely one of the first ones, but in Teen Titans, it was neither Raven or Starfire. It was the blonde haired chick that I can't remember oh, her oh. name. Arrow? Yes. Yes. You, I agree. You, you got some mommy issues, don't you? Yes. I agree. <laughs> uh, so agree with that, too. That I have mommy <laughs> issues? <laughs> I mean, I can't speak on your behalf, but I also agree about her. So, yeah, I also agree I have <laughs> mommy issues. Now <laughs> uh, it's the end of the podcast, I guess. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. We still want you to let us free. No, uh, we just go Wait, back to the can, void. You can log out at any time. Just you can, know, can we at least hunt down eyes. this candy first? Yeah, you know, yeah, we can start like, out the candy, and then you Wait, just kind of hit the log out button, and then you guys can log out. Wait. No, this is like sort of online for you. You can never leave. <laughs> Wait, you guys are logged in. <laughs> This is, his, this is his Wook's life. This is where he lives. <laughs> All right. That was it. Thank you, guys.